so your nervous system can also shut down and you can just not do anything and you can feel like you're resting but you're actually not resting when your nervous system is shut down because that's actually called freeze and it may look to other people like you're resting because you can't do anything but like sit around but it's not a healed nervous system and it's not resting true rest is when you actually can get your nervous system back into the parasympathetic mode how do you know you're in parasympathetic you're not irritated you're not stressed and it might if you feel like you've been in a dysregulated nervous system for like three or four or five or ten twenty fifty years you might not even know what it feels like to be calm <laughs> like for real like you might not even know you might have and lost that feeling you might have only felt it like three or four times in your life so i just want to let you know that the calmness is actually going to feel foreign to you when you start to un dysregulate your nervous system <laughs> lips right now because of the sun angle only being right here makes them look like insanely <laughs> big um so i don't know if that's like a problem for you then like click off the video if you don't like it um <laughs> like and a lot of people i would say like the majority of people do have a calm nervous system and it isn't until you don't have a calm nervous system that you realize just how infinitely insanely important survival and living in your physical body has to be with a calm nervous system because you take it for granted and you really do like you take it for granted and you don't set you don't realize that it could actually be affecting you to have a dysregulated nervous system how you can tell that your nervous system is dysregulated so getting irritated at really small things for no reason that normally you would not care about like someone blocks you in traffic or someone cuts you in line at the store and all of a sudden you just find yourself getting like really irritated about it and you're like why you know because it's really not a big deal but you you might find like your heart start beating really fast or like your energy levels just get up or like your adrenaline your cortisol levels just get up and you start feeling like you are like ready to go like you you're just not calm anymore like, and it's just off these little silly small things that can indicate that you've been stuck in a fight flight fawn or freeze nervous system response and you haven't really gotten out of it you haven't really learned to regulate your nervous system and get it back to the normal state that it needs to be in. Another thing is like you just are exhausted all the time. You have like no energy for anything and you're not even really doing anything, but you have like no energy to like do anything. Like you're just, you wake up tired, you go to bed tired, you have brain fog, you have like just spaciness you can't find your words you can't remember what you were going to do today these are physical issues so issues with like bloating losing weight or like not being able to gain weight like being really skinny and like not being able to put on weight not really having an appetite not really like feeling like eating like because your stomach's always like cramped up being able to like fall asleep at night or when you do fall asleep at night you get that really quick like jerky feeling have you ever had that where it feels like you're falling from a really high place and you're just about to fall asleep but then all of a sudden it feels like you're like falling off a cliff and then you like get yanked up and you just stay alert all of a sudden well, that actually means that your nervous system was really jumpy throughout the day. And then as you're trying to get into rest, it's still jumpy. And so it has an issue with getting unjumpy. So all these things, if I'm talking about you and you feel like I'm talking about you, then you probably have a little bit of a dysregulated nervous system. Parasympathetic is one word that you really should learn and then sympathetic so parasympathetic is the state that we want to be in all the time it's that good happy state where you can just laugh easily with your friends and family 
and nothing's really that big of a deal even if like you get a flat tire like it's not the end of the world you know you just roll with the punches basically but the you know the sympathetic nervous system is when you are like snapping you're, like at everything you're you're ner and it's really not your fault so i say too like a lot of people again they blame the people who are dealing with stress and have a dysregulated nervous system and do things that look like crazy because they are in a dysregulated nervous system and then they say like those people are unhinged or they shouldn't be crying so much or they shouldn't be depressed whatever like they shouldn't be freaking out over this that and yada 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 but if you had gone through either the events or whatever it took to just regulate that person's nervous system you would literally be in the exact same boat as that person with the dysregulated nervous system and so you can't blame your dysregulated nervous system for the symptoms of it that are showing you that it's dysregulated it's simply a fact of having a dysregulated nervous system and it takes time to heal and get back to a regulated nervous system. So the problem with always being stressed in a stressed nervous system, and it's not even just stressed, your nervous system can also shut down and you can just not do anything. And you can feel like you're resting, but you're actually not resting when your nervous system is shut down because that's actually called freeze. And it may look to other people like you're resting because you can't do anything but like sit around. But it's not a healed nervous system and it's not resting. It's, you're not stressed. And it might, if you feel like you've been in a dysregulated nervous system for like 3 or 4 or 5 or 10, 20, 50 years, you might not even know what it feels like to be calm. <laughs> The calmness is actually going to feel foreign to you when you start to undysregulate your nervous system. Without all that cortisol and adrenaline pumping through your body, you might really need to rest and take a break. And that's what you should do because the nervous system only heals when you're resting. I know like when you work out and you do your muscles, it, you heal them by pumping muscles and like doing all this work. The thing is, the nervous system is totally different. It heals by being completely rested, by not being triggered, by not having to work itself. Then it can finally rebuild itself and heal, but it really does not ever heal when you're unrested. And if you're constantly in that state where you're like ready to go and you're like at that top adrenaline notch and... um you're not calm and you're not experiencing the cortisol being detoxed from your body you're gonna just keep doing like damage where the nerves will feel like they're snapping off almost like from the stress i know it's a little like gross of a way to say it but like you'll just feel like really stressed out and so my best tips and advice for you guys who are dealing with that and want to calm your nervous system down is to do whatever you can to find a way to stay in a calm nervous system, stay without anything that would put you into overdrive throughout your day. And you'll know it. Like once you finally feel the calm nervous system state, you'll know it and don't get bored by it and don't hate it because it's unfamiliar. Because you might be like, this is really boring and, you know, I, I've never really been able to feel this for a long time. So it feels foreign, but it's not. It's actually like really good. It's the reason why, you know, you see animals and they can be like very peaceful. And then all of a sudden they just start like running away from the predator. Well, they would live longer if they were able to be in that peaceful state. So that's the reason why like domesticated animals they stay longer in your house because they don't have that stress response and they don't have to be dealing with stress all the time. So you gotta make your life like you would for almost like a domesticated animal, <laughs> basically. And it's all about self-care. It's about watching yourself. It's about as soon as you feel the trigger coming on or the stress coming on, it's about reminding yourself logically 
that that you do not have to take your body to that extreme that you can keep your body in the slow happy space that it was before and this is just about repeating and constantly telling yourself that there is not a threat there that's not like that big of a deal um and don't worry because your nervous system will always work and get into that response if it has to and if it truly is in an emergency situation like it truly will get back into that response but you can't constantly be in that response because you're actually weakening so if there was truly an emergency you would be weaker because you were already draining and going through your reserves of cortisocal steroids and cortisol that's in your adrenal glands and your limbic response and everything would already be so overworked <laughs> so yeah it'll get so much easier to stay in that calm state and to not go hyper into a overdrive nervous system fight or flight response or fawn freeze whatever you may do so that's basically my top advice also i enjoy rife frequencies they are basically frequencies that mimic frequencies in nature that help us naturally so if you've ever been like by a lake a pond a stream you've heard the sound of that water and that frequency of the nature and being there um you will feel the calm you're you're listening to a frequency in a sound wave and you can also do that through your phone so we don't always have to like drive out to a stream basically so right frequencies raymond rife that's the where they got their name from there's also hertz frequencies there's also solfeggio frequencies there's so many different types of, there's also like binaural beats and everything like that these frequencies you can get them just for the nervous system in general you can get them for stress you can get them trauma you can get them ptsd you can get them anxiety you can get them for anything like and um you don't have to listen to them that much i just do it maybe like a couple times a week it's you have control you're in control and there's nothing that your nervous system won't do because it's your body and your nervous system's working in yourself you know your nervous system might be triggered by outside circumstance and influence that you can't control granted but eventually like you are essentially you are yourself so you can actually control your nervous system even though it might look like a really big task Think of it like a mountain that you're trying to climb. Just do it a little bit day by day, just a little day by day, boom, boom, boom. Like, and then you get, you actually get progress. And yeah, so I hope this video helped you guys and I hope it really helped you to understand the nervous system. And I hope you just leave this feeling like this is something that if you feel like you have a dysregulated nervous system it's not forever and it's a temporary thing and it's um it's it's not forever it's not forever okay and you will eventually feel calm peaceful happy whatever you want to call it because it's not even just calm because you're not just always like super calm like you're like don't feel anything it's just like you're in a regulated state <laughs> so it's just like normal all right i love you guys so much and i hope you have a wonderful day if you like this video please subscribe to my channel uh leave a like leave a comment anything that you want to hear from me just let me know and i try to reply to everybody that i can i love you have a good day